What makes you think that I'm an answer if you ain't mine? Even if you start doing that more when it comes to um uh you know entertainment or, or just like movies and video games in general. I'm not gonna do full on reviews because I simply just don't have the time to script it. I think I'm gonna start doing more of those segments. Five things I like, five things I don't like. Um uh, and then maybe give a number review just with like whatever because like right now, I would say that I would give college football twenty five um a solid eight out of ten. Eight point two out of ten. Uh, Frost Fang, no, because I got to work tonight. So we're actually not watching uh, the boys tonight. We'll we'll catch back up tomorrow night. But yeah, though. Um, so yeah, I think we're gonna start doing that. So like new games, um, new games, new movies, two TV shows. I'll give them five things I like, five things I don't like. All right, so. Assassin's Creed Shadows is just this game has so much turmoil. Okay. There's so much negativity surrounding this game that it's just I I have a hard time believing that this game is just going to like, you know, do well when it comes out. God, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just it's no way, right? Japanese political aid indicates Assassin's Creed Shadows debacle could escalate into a diplomatic incident. What? What? I got to read more about this. Hold on. Japanese political aid indicated that the, that the backlash to Ubisoft's upcoming Assassin's Creed Shadows game could escalate into a diplomatic incident. Y'all told me that the Japanese wasn't upset about this. What happened? As first reported by Mark Kern, a.k.a. Grums on X, a Japanese political aide detailed the game and its false depiction of Japanese history, culture, and aesthetics primarily revolving around the depiction of Yasuke as a legendary samurai could result in a diplomatic incident. Grums reported that letters are being sent with questions to the uh, Japan Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science, and Technology, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ministry of Economy, Trade, and, uh, and Industry. He added, while the government have not taken action yet, they are waiting for final release of the game to decide. And there is mounting pressure in Japan to address the issue with Ubisoft portraying false information to Japanese children. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, they. Oh, mm -hmm. congratulations. Y'all niggas played congratulations, yourself. Congratulations. You played yourself. Because this is getting serious. Y'all kept telling us that they didn't care. Oh, the Japanese people, they don't play. Let me get the chat back up. Let me get the chat back up. The Japanese people, they don't care about this. You guys are making something out of nothing. They don't care. Well, okay, nigga, tell that to their fucking government. Okay, Sonya says she has to head out. Okay, this poor went out for uh, for Sonya. She says she has to leave. Uh... What more do you want from me? <laughs> We appreciate you for being here, Sonya. Um, but yeah, though, uh, I mean, this is insane. As seen in the video below, the political aide detailed that he sent a variety of questions to the Japanese government and received a report back from them. He noted he sent inquiries questioning uh, to Japan's Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Yeah, 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 we read all that. As translated and shared to X by Grums, the aide shared the first question he asked. It has been pointed out that Mr. Thomas Lockley, Associated Professor of Foreign uh, Languages, Faculty of Law at Nihon University, wrote a book about Yasuke's story, which he created from his own imagination and spread the contents of the book as historical fact all over the world, and that this is a movement to make a fabricated history of the truth, uh, history, the truth of the world without many Japanese people even knowing about it. Please tell us the government's opinion on this point and its uh, future policy. So, uh, Thomas Lockley is that white guy isn't that something how how you try to tell a story a, a dei story but you take your fucking cues from a white guy thomas loxley lockley this is the goofball in question you can't make this shit up <laughs> god damn it you can't make this shit up 
up. This nigga's a historian. Okay? This is the book. The True Story of Yasuke. A legendary black warrior in feudal Japan. How much how much you want to bet this nigga was fighting dragons in that damn book? <laughs> That nigga was fighting. That nigga was fighting dragons in that book. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely the truth. Uh, okay. Uh, please. Oh, yeah. Okay. So he shared that this question was sent to Japanese Ministry of Education. Oh, yeah, we already read that. Um, as for the second question, he inquired of Japanese Ministry. Yeah, we're not reading all that again. <laughs> Assassin's Creed Shadow is a new game being developed by the French game company uh, Ubisoft. It's set in the uh, Sengoku period of Japan, and Yasuke appears as the main character. This game company has been taken over by people of political correctness movement, and from the pre-release interview footage, the disrespect for Japan is blatant. The content of the game has been partially released, has uh, also been distorted and grossly disrespectful to uh, disrespectful of Japanese culture, history, and Japanese people. It continues. For example, in an interview, a person in charge of the grotesque uh, decapitation uh, decapitation scene said, "Death was a common occurrence in Japan at the time, and most people died by having their heads neatly cut off." I would like to know the government's views on this matter and its future policy. Okay, this is like listen. This is getting wild. I got to be honest. Even when we first started covering this, I had no idea it was going to come to this. To the point where niggas is asking the government to get involved. Um, the third question was sent to... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We get. Why do they keep putting this... Nigga, ain't nobody reading all that. It states, if it were a game made by a private company, there would be no need to be so concerned. But it has been announced that it is based on Japanese historical facts. And if this goes viral, people all over the world will start to believe it, which I think is extremely malicious. In the, in the following message has been released, the Brazilian embassy in Japan publicly announced on Facebook that Yasuke was Japan's first black samurai and that Yasuke was brought to Japan in 1579 and became a hero. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? You mean to tell me a nigga that was there for, for 15 months learned learn Japanese language and save Japan from a mythical beast or some shit. Like y'all niggas just make up anything. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. This is insane. This is insane. But it doesn't stop, guys. This is, It doesn't stop, okay? New report claims same-sex romance options confirmed for Assassin's Creed Shadows. Ah. Not only do you get to play as a Negro samurai, you get to have your back broken by another samurai. Lord have mercy. A new report claims that Ubisoft is indeed including same-sex romance options for the upcoming Assassin's Creed game. Now, it's important to understand that it is options, but here's why it's important. Yes, it is an option. You don't have to, you, you don't, you don't have to partake in this. The problem is, because this game is being marketed as somewhat accurate right is using a real historical figure the lgbtq community will not hesitate to say see see yasuke was lgbtq no the fuck he wasn't nigga stop it stop it God, you know what i'm saying see see yasuke likes it up there shut the fuck up shut the fuck up but nigga slap fire out you, nigga. Shut the f <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Uh, Michael Kelly says uh, Brazilians are trolling. Oh, maybe they are. Maybe they are. YouTuber Joe Raptor reported on X that both Yasuke and uh, Naoi uh, have unique romances. So different uh, character they can romance instead of the game. Can they, can, they, can they sleep with each other? Can they sleep with each other? That's what I want to know. I want to I wanna sleep with the, uh, the, the ninja chick. Okay, that's what I want to do. In a YouTube video, uh, romance are back and seems like they're going to work a bit different this time. For one, just like in Odyssey and Valhalla, we can still choose to pursue romantic relationships or not. But because there are two different, uh, two completely different playable characters, they will now have both their own unique romances. While in Odyssey, for example, both Alexios and Cassandra had the exact same options. Did, when, when did fucking Assassin's Creed become a, a dating simulator? <laughs> God damn it! You can't make this shit up. 
when did it become a dating simulator, guys? I just, I just, I, I just don't understand. I just want to kill niggas. That's all I want to do. I want to run around like a ninja and, and, and assassinate niggas. Oh, I got a headache. I got a headache. <sighs> but we'll see how this game performs. We'll see. When it comes out, we'll see. It'll be inter- it'll be interesting to see. Um uh it's breaking Assassin's Creed uh Shadows will feature stunning and brave queerness. You know, they couldn't wait to put it in. Um I don't I don't I don't have much else to say about Assassin's Creed at this point. I'm just ready to see it come out. When's the release date? Oh shit. November. Oh, that's it's gonna be a good little while. Oh well. Um, all right. What else? What else? It's gonna be a, it's gonna be some time. All right. Uh let's get into some of these comments before we bail out bail up out of here. Um, let's see. Let's see. Uh Matt Hatter says black and gay. If what hypno said, uh, Crypto Beat says, if what hypno said is uh, happens, the the uh, if what hypno said is happening, that game I will laugh. Now I think we all will. Uh, Words of Paradise says Atreus is going to use this game to fulfill so many Naruto fantasies. I don't know if I'm going to be playing it. If I do end up playing it, it'll be like further down the line when the game is heavily discounted because I'm not pl- I'm not paying seventy dollars to play that game when I can just play Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, James O.P. says, I hope uh, Japan sues the shit out of them, to be honest. On what grounds, though? Uh, Jerome Smith says, I'm tired of seeing Assassin's Creed Shadows. Yeah, you and me both. But I got to report on it. I got to report on it. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and check out. Uh, we covered all our major topics today. Uh, I'm going to save the... Um, I'm going to save the Windows um, discussion... Uh, for a separate video only because I'm not hip to everything that's going on. Uh, so I would hate to be trying to figure it out like right here. Um, so yeah, we'll get, we'll get to that, uh, later on, but, uh, I'm about to go and get ready for work. So I appreciate everybody for coming through. Um, and y'all go out there, continue to squabble. I'm going to squabble right alongside of you and I will talk to you guys later. All right. Deuces. Fuck you. Oh, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you.